So for today, we're going to be looking at seasonal challenges for week eight. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the seasonal challenges for the week. And then we also look at Eververse. After a certain amount of time, the weekly challenges stop being updated, usually around week 10. And then after that, we only look at Eververse. So just to prep you guys for when that actually happens. So if you guys like the video, let's like, comment, subscribe. Really do appreciate it. But let's just get into it. So Silver Salvager, defeat combatants with super abilities in salvage activities. Not hard, just use your super in salvage activities. Really not hard, I promise you. Treasure from the deep, complete a deep dive activity within the highest tier reward bonus. I think it's tier seven, that's the highest one. Um, so just do it. Give or receive commendations to match made deep dive activities. Not hard, you're literally gonna be doing it with these two right here. So you might as well just give commendations once you're done reach power level 8 1810 by earning pinnacle rewards this one shouldn't be hard i know i'm like 1775 right now but i am 1810 i just have to like switch the stuff that is 1810 i think it was this and then i have to switch out like the weapons which is this one this one and this one and i can switch this out for this one Damn, I thought, I thought all this was 1810 or oh, I did change my build not too long ago. So there, I'm done. I think. Yeah, there we go. So not hard, uh, especially since uh, light level isn't going up in the seasons anymore. So it's only through expansions. So when Lightfall comes, not Lightfall, when uh, Final Shape comes out, the light, the light level will increase with that. But the seasons after that will not. So just to, if you guys didn't know, uh, broadside. Defeat targets and gambit with power weapons. Bonus progress is granted for final blows with linear fusion rifles and for defeating guardians. This one, um, I don't know if you can combine this with a special linear fusion rifle. That'd be pretty, pretty interesting. But hopefully this one's not too crazy because a uh, linear fusion rifle, especially for heavies, is a pretty big ask. Uh, trial by firing squad, win multiple rounds in Trials of Osiris. Not hard, but definitely will suck the soul out of you because this shit sucks and then defeat targets with auto rifles hand cannons scout rifles glaives and linear fusion rifles bonus progress is granted for defeating guardians might as well complete this one with the broadside for the linear portion of it but you will most likely complete this before you complete this unless each linear is is like a lot of points so that's pretty much it for the challenges nothing too crazy aside from the trials one let's see where the okay so the lost sector is gonna be on savathun's throne world which is fine and it's gonna be helmets so if you need a new helmet definitely go for that and then for actually i want to see what the nightfall is as well for the nightfall it's gonna be the, mm, the corrupted all right i mean i don't care i'm not gonna run it but r.i.p for those who do all right eververse <sighs> Tyrion abyss and the reason I have this look, ooh, oh, that's right. I just changed my look for for the 1810 thing. Uh, there we go. So I'm changing my look so that way we can see like the glow and whatnot. So Tyrion Abyss, this one's an okay shader. I'm not the biggest fan of that purple. I wish it was a little bit more bluish because I like blue purple instead of like, I think this is red purple. Um, And yeah, it's fine. The glow is this right here. Not meh, meh. Glow's cool. Reefer Galia, this is such a dope shader. Uh, has a really good deep, like, navy, almost green navy. I personally love this shader. I love it a lot. I use it quite a bit when I'm making sets just because it is really good. The glow is, uh, if I remember correctly, blue, which is right here. But the off color is gold, which is one of my favorite golds in the game. Which so much so that I actually made a set for my Titan that uses the off color of, glow, of the gold, which is really, really cool. Actually, let me see what's here. We have, ooh, aim to misbehave. I'm happy I didn't skip this. Definitely pick this up, guys, because it's such a good fucking ornament. Like, it legitimately is my favorite ornament in the game. At least for this one, uh, for Malfeasance. I mean, like, to be fair, it's such a, it's such a cool ornament. And then down under dance, I don't know what this means. Hate it already. And then for the bottom stuff, we have Dreaming Clarity, which is such a dope ornament. I definitely was going to pick this up and I'm happy I did because I'm going to be using this a lot more because it just looks so, super cool. We have Asymmetric Force, which is okay. 
We have table scraps for the spare rations. I didn't even have this because uh, back then it was a lot more annoying getting weapon ornaments because they didn't sell it through. Actually, I don't even remember how I got this or the other ones, but definitely pick it up. It's really cool. Pragmat shell, which is not bad. Like I actually think this looks pretty decent, like legitimately. Wow. We have finger heart, which is, if you guys know, finger hearts, the Korean finger heart thing. Definitely cool. And then row your boat. I'm actually tempted to get this. Hmm. For the shaders, Empirical Imperative is such a good shader. I know it doesn't look good here, but if you combine it with the blue and the armor piece, it looks really, really cool. Like I've made sets where it's just, it just has the blue and the black and it looks fucking amazing. So I know it looks bad here. It definitely looks bad with cloth and the off color is yellow. So that's also bad. But again, if you lean into the blue and the black, it looks really, really cool. We have Wayfarers guys, which I'm not the biggest fan of this green. It's more like baby puke green, which is not ideal. And then the other colors here, we have golden age wine, which I've never been the biggest fan of this shader. I said this last week considering they sold it last week again. It's just the yellow and the purple that just kind of like gross to me, like color wise and Byzantine Lotus also the same thing. Like the purple is decent. I actually do think it's decent, but it's yellow. Like a lot of it will be yellow or this like re really gross yellow green, which is I'm not the biggest fan of that's pretty much it for eververse i mean to be fair i was hoping to a little bit more pizzazz this week but we got more ass than pizzazz and it's really unfortunate i mean to be fair i already have the ornament for malfeasance so that's why i was like whatever and then this ornament while cool it is really old it's from from season of the drifter so i was like i'm happy i got it but i'm not like super enthused because i've already seen it this one being the only one where I was like, yo, I got really excited. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's, links are in the description below. I have not said that in a while. <laughs> be safe. I'll see you guys later.